Hey friends, Josh here from Time Investment Company coming to you today with a few tips to grow a contractor business. As you know, offering flexible payment options to customers is one of the most important parts of the growth equation for especially like home improvement businesses. And in this video, I'll share some other best practices that contractors should consider in order to accelerate growth. Let's go ahead and dive in. So best practice number one, reinvest cash flow. As a business owner, you've got to be disciplined about managing your expenses and pushing most of your excess cash flow back into your business. Sure, it's very tempting to pull out cash for yourself and for your family. I get it. It feels good to pay yourself a good salary as a business owner and drive around in a high dollar truck. But if you want to grow your business faster than competitors, you've got to be leaner. The priority for available cash flow has got to be reinvesting back into your business's growth and capacity for growth. And many owners struggle to understand what's prioritized. If you find yourself in this situation, think about what would help your operations to make more money. Are there any opportunities for you to grow by investing in marketing? Would the business benefit from automating back to office processes? Is your IT up to date? Is your website fully optimized for search engines? Would you benefit from hiring an office manager to let's say help you focus more on key business activities? Sometimes buying bulk inventory also helps you to save cash in the long term. These small decisions take organizations a long way. And trust me, lots of your competitors don't think this way after a certain point. They hit their comfort zone and then they start taking too much money out of the company for themselves instead of reinvesting it for growth. It doesn't take long for those businesses to stop growing. Then they stagnate. Your key measure of success should be your company's EBITDA or earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization, and the book value of your company, which is assets minus liabilities. If these are growing, you're on the right track. Remember, keep your eyes on the prize. The second tip I'm going to give you is to hire the right people who can grow with your business. As an owner, your time is limited and you have to allocate it wisely. You should spend your time on the things that will make the most impact on your bottom line. Although it's tempting to at least try to, you can't be everywhere. Owners that micromanage their employees because they can't trust them end up having no time to focus on core business decisions. As a result, the company's growth is limited. That means you need a trustworthy team that has your back. You need to hire staff that's capable of personal and professional growth along with you. And don't get cheap and just hire the bare minimum worker for the job. When you hire a new installer, hire the person you can see leading a crew of installers in a year's time and potentially managing multiple teams of installers three to five years from now. And when you hire a new personal assistant or secretary, hire the one you can see acting as an office manager in three years, directing several people and running your back office operations. Ultimately, you want people who are serious minded, ambitious, who tend to seek out responsibility instead of avoiding it and who have their candle power to think on their feet and the judgment to make sound and timely decisions even when you can't be there. You'll have to pay, sure, a little bit more to get and keep them, but it'll be worth it. And best practice number three, offer best in class customer experience. Offering top notch customer service is a great way to grow your business organically. Look for ways to make doing business with you a memorable and pleasant experience. Hotels figured this out a long time ago. True attention to details what makes guests find the experience remarkable. Chick-fil-A is another great example of how leveling up the customer experience can have a huge impact on growth. Through excellent customer service, they change the way quick service restaurants operate. And that says a lot concerning how many quick service restaurants exist. You still order food at the counter, but they have pleasant workers who are paid a little bit above the norm for other quick service restaurants to be extra polite and to come to the tables to refill drinks. They also have flowers on the tables and an enjoyable environment which also contributes to the customer experience. With that, Chick-fil-A set new standards for the fast food experience and enjoyed terrific growth. But you don't have to go that far to see more customers coming through your doors. You can get creative to delight your clients and customers. One home theater installer we know, for example, would take before and after photographs of the installation along with progress notes as they went through and made progress. He also collected operation manuals for each of the major pieces of equipment he installed and his staff's list of the greatest 100 movies ever made. When the installation was done, he'd present his customers with a beautiful fox leather bound yearbook per se of their installation and a cheese and wine basket or family snack basket for his customers 
to enjoy for their first night and join their new home theater together. You think he got referrals from this type of business? You bet he did, and he still does. He started doing that 15 years ago, ended up acquiring several of his competitors and continues to grow his business. The next piece of advice I'll give you is to focus on sustaining your current customers. In the home improvement industry, client retention hasn't quite earned the attention it deserves, but retaining existing clients tends to be an extremely lucrative way to do business. Consider this, overall it costs five times more to get a new customer than it does to earn repeat business or a referral out of an existing customer. Of course, acquiring new clients is key and you should not abandon initiatives on that end, but make sure to leverage opportunities to do repeated business. To do that, make sure to practice good communication and feedback. Make it easy for your clients to reach you and respond to any concerns as quickly and efficiently as possible. At the same time, set up a system to allow your clients to provide you with feedback on anything and everything. And this will allow you to continue the conversation in case there's a problem you need to address or a suggestion you might like to adopt. Also, make sure to be on top of your customer's needs and anticipate them. One of the things that can help with that is a CRM. Another important thing is to get to know your customers. Make sure that your team builds a relationship with your clients. This way, they will remember you when they need you to work on their next home project. And the fifth best practice is to provide social proof. You can have the large majority of your existing customers happy and satisfied, but if you don't make this public, it may be difficult to gain the trust of new potential customers. Building trust online can come in the form of reviews, testimonials, project galleries, and case studies. Be sure to ask clients for reviews and direct them to major review sites like Google, Facebook, and Yelp. Send review requests via email with a quick link to your review page. And if customers don't feel comfortable leaving an online review through, let's say their Gmail or Facebook account, then you can simply ask them to email you a testimonial that you can use on your website. Another thing I recommend that you add to your website is a project gallery. If you want to go even further, you can include a case study section on your construction website. This section would include similar information to the project gallery, but also include information ultimately from the client's perspective, like direct quotes. This will help you to increase the lead's confidence in doing business with you. And these are just a few of the initiatives you can take in parallel with offering easy payment solutions in order to scale your operations and grow faster. Regardless of what stage you're in, strategies to keep growing your business must be included in your plan of action. Remember that making it easy for your customers to afford your products is a huge deal. In order to do that, you need easier financing solutions, and it's one of the best ways to reach a broader audience. Without an affordable payment solution, the sales discussion quickly gets reduced to price. The contractor has no opportunity for adding value and upselling because any solutions are limited to whatever the cash the customer has on hand. And when that happens, the customer always has an excuse to think about it. And then shop the deal around to competitors. And some other contractor can always undercut you for less. You do all the legwork and you lose a deal. Having your own financing solution with a lower interest rate than credit cards, easier to get than a bank loan and the capacity to lend enough money to cover the project is crucial to closing sales and growing your business. So to avoid needless complications that can derail your sale, make sure to look for a third-party finance company that understands your industry and typical ticket sizes and transactions. Makes it easy to apply. Don't make customers jump through hoops. Makes quick credit decisions and applies common sense lending. And looks at more than just the FICO scores. And of course, pays you quickly. And there we have it. I hope that gave you a good idea of how you can keep revenue increasing and keep growing your business. And if you are looking for a company to offer flexible payment solutions, make sure to check out Time Investment Company where we do just that. And if you have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you receive notifications anytime we publish a video on how to grow your contractor business. And I'll go ahead and see you in some of our following videos. Cheers.